begin this program in New Zealand, where 40 people have been confirmed killed and more than 20 wounded after shootings at two mosques in the city of Christchurch, that's on the country's South Island. The first attack happened at the Al Nur Mosque, the second at the Linwood Mosque. Eyewitnesses describe people fleeing in terror during Friday prayers. Three men and a woman have been apprehended. Police say they've diffused a number of IEDs, improvised explosive devices, found after the attacks. Authorities have warned people to avoid mosques across the country and for those mosques to keep their doors closed. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said it was one of New Zealand's darkest days. This is what she had to say at a press conference just moments ago. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. From what we know, it does appear to have been well planned. Two explosive devices attached to suspects' vehicles have now been found and they have been disarmed. There are currently four individuals who have been apprehended, but three are connected to this attack who are currently in custody. Let's go live now to DW Samantha Early joining us in Christchurch. Samantha, we heard the Prime Minister there calling this an act of terrorism. What else did she have to say in her press conference? That's right. She did call it unequivocally an act of terrorism. And she emphasised a lot that uh, New Zealand was chosen um, because it is a place where um, diversity and inclusiveness and um, and on all those sorts of values are strong. She was very um, keen to repeat that. Um, she said this is not an enclave for that kind of ideology. By that she means, you know, ideology of uh, white supremacy, of, of wanting to inflict injury on, on certain groups of people. She uh, was very, very keen to express that. New Zealand was targeted um, not because this sort of ideology is supported here, but because it's not. Is the uh, police operation still ongoing? Are suspects still at large? We already have three men in custody and a woman as well. What do we know about them and their possible motives? Uh, well, the one we know about the most is a, uh, it's been confirmed there is uh, a 28-year-old Australian man as the, uh, I suppose, main suspect. And um, the others uh, are also um yeah, have, have been apprehended, but we don't know too much more about them at this stage. And, uh, yeah, uh, they also cannot rule out that there might be more people involved in this, and uh, that's why the police are still urging caution. Okay, Christchurch was on lockdown. Is that lockdown been lifted? Uh, or schools, for example, were told to shut their doors. That's right, yeah, that uh, lockdown has been gradually being lifted uh, over the past couple of hours. Um, school children have been able to be picked up from school, uh, as well as uh, the hospital lockdown has, has stopped in a lot of public buildings um, as well. People are slowly being able to make their way home, but authorities are encouraging people to just stay home and not travel if they don't need to. So the feeling in the city is, is still definitely very tense um, and, and there's a lot of concern there. Okay, let, let's hear now from uh, two eyewitnesses uh, who were at one of the mosques uh, during that shooting. And he have helmet, and he have given the gl uh, glasses, and he's a dress of the military, and he's a gun, mission gun of the uh, M16 plug one, and it's a, a seat belt of the another gun, uh, gun, bullet, bullet, and uh, he passed. I say, hey, what are you doing? And not talk me. He looking and not talk me. He is starting. Uh, he is starting uh, shooting. And uh, the people of the church, the, uh, the, uh, the shoes, and the shooting, and uh, me, I'm running. That's after that, uh, he goes inside, and he goes one by one, everybody's killing, and uh, some people died. First we hide behind the cars and, you know, under the cars, and then when we see their firing still on, we try to, you know, jump the fence. And uh, then we hide uh, the next house to the mosque on this side. And... Um, Fighting was on and on, you know. Samantha, 40 people have been confirmed killed. More than 20 have been injured. We understand police are using all their resources, resources to get officers out onto the streets. How about emergency services? How are they coping in Christchurch right now? 
Um, there's been a lot of uh, praise from the Mayor of Christchurch and um, from the citizens of Christchurch as to how the emergency services have coped. Um, you'll have to remember the police were um, also looking out for the climate march, which was happening in Cathedral Square in the city, quite nearby, while this uh, was all while this all started unfolding. So, um, yeah, a huge police response all over Christchurch, um, and yeah, the, the mayor especially commending officers for their bravery there. Um, you'll you'll also know that you know Christchurch uh, had a significant earthquake uh, eight years ago. So you know these response systems are are quite uh, well practiced, I guess. Um, but it's also um, yeah another trauma for the residents. But what can you tell us about Christchurch's Muslim community? Have they been the subject of attacks before today? Nothing like this. Nothing at all like this. And uh, lots of people are very shocked that uh, Muslims would be targeted here in New Zealand. Um, there have been reports of uh, you know, racist attacks, um, people, um, but, but nothing on this scale. And, and certainly it's, it's very shocking. Um, the Muslim population here in New Zealand is roughly just over 1% of the total population. So it's not a very large community, um, but it's a, it is quite a diverse community. Um, and from the latest census data, you see that uh, about a quarter of uh, people who listed themselves as Muslim in New Zealand were born here in New Zealand, and uh, the other three quarters um, from the Pacific Islands, Asia, and Middle East, and Africa. So a really diverse community, a small community, um, and one that uh, the rest of New Zealand is really wanting to show solidarity with at the moment. Okay, police are, are getting all their resources out onto the streets right now. Um, how long will this ongoing pre police operation last? Is it centered in Christchurch, or is it also taking place in other urban centers across the country? Um, it is, uh, yeah, really a, a nationwide operation. So the uh, Prime Minister has said our alert level for, for terrorism has been raised from low to high, and that is to enable absolutely all those resources to um, be used throughout the country as they're needed. So um, they've really stepped things up to the highest level, I think, that they can. and. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be seeing uh, a strong police operation, I think, continue for, for quite some time. It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, we have had reports of, of potentially um, some situations developing in the past few moments in, in other cities too. Um, so we will keep a close eye on that. Okay, uh, other situations developing in, in, in other cities. Um, mm -hmm. Do we know anything else about that or yeah. are details slowly coming in on that? Uh, details are slowly coming in, but it appears that the uh, train station at Britomart, which is in Auckland, the uh, the most populous city up in the North Island, um, has been evacuated and um, the police are responding to a situation there. But it's unclear what that situation is at this stage or if it has anything to do with what's happened in Christchurch. Okay, we'll find about more about that in the hours ahead. For now, DW's Samantha Early in Christchurch. Thanks very much. You're welcome.